when I go, I don't know the person who will come and cooking food for my grandmother. Sewa is a 13-year-old girl who lives in Napoli, which is camp. She may be speaking for herself, but over 30 children who live with her here share in her story. No. Children like her were brought to live with their relatives who have been accused as witches in this camp. This is the only school in Naboli serving about four other communities surrounding it. And it is here that those who live in the witches' camp come to school. Hundreds of thousands of children of school-going age continue to stay away from the classroom. In many parts of Ghana, it is usually because of the lack of infrastructure or the teaching personnel. But here, in this community, it is the stigma of living with an alleged witch that is keeping children out of the class. You know, the child cannot be punctual. Maybe today she will come to school the next day, or the grandma will say, oh, do go to farm, get me water. And it's here too, the water is a very big problem. You see them being like, like let me put it in quotes, they work alone people. Outside the camp, many more children out of school wonder about facing a bleak future. Justice Beidu, Joy News, Naboli in the Northern Region.